Hi everybody, and I would like to welcome you to our pre-Rosh Hashanah musical program, looking at some of the highlights of the songs of our Rosh Hashanah service. This year is truly a new and different year. As we welcome in Rosh Hashanah, we realize that so much has changed. And yet, equally, there are still some things which remain just the way they always were. And at the top of that list is Congregation Beth Tikva, our commitment to you, and our love of song to be able to fill the synagogue with the beautiful music and words that is the liturgy at this time of year. We have composed the following video of some familiar cantors and some familiar tunes to help put you in the right frame of mind. And music truly is what is able to lift us ever higher. Arnold Bennett once said that music is a language which the soul alone understands, but which the soul can never translate. Goethe said that religious worship cannot do without music. If words are the language of the mind, then music is the language of the soul. And Jewish music is especially so in this case. Whenever there were moments of incredible victory or even incredible depths of the human heart, our greatest people always turn to song. We immediately see this with Devorah. The Jewish armies win an incredible battle over the forces of Sisera and Devorah, the leading member of the Jewish people, a female judge, bursts into song, Shirat Devorah. Hannah, when she finally has a child and expressing her thanksgiving to God, bursts into song, Shirat Hannah, the song of Hannah. When our first king of Israel, Shaul, is depressed and feeling miserable, lonely, anxious, he turns to David, David, to play him his harp, and his spirit is restored. Indeed, David HaMelech, King David himself, our greatest king, is referred to and known to us by the Tanakh, the Jewish Bible, as the sweet singer of Israel. Elisha calls for a harpist to play so that the spirit of prophecy could rest upon him. And we begin our prayers with Psuke de Zimra, verses of song each and every day. Song has the ability to lift us. Song has the ability to express our innermost feelings. And it is to the cantors of our congregation and people who have recently been singing with us over the last number of years that we now turn as we enjoy not just their words, but also their music. May I take this opportunity in wishing all of you a Shana Tova Umutuka, a happy, healthy, and sweet new year. Enjoy. <laughs> 